Hi guys, Tropical Snow Geckos here and today pag-usapan natin ang enclosure na ginagamit natin for leopard gecko. So for this video, pag-usapan natin yung dalawang setup types na ginagamit ko in keeping my leopard gecko. First, yung conventional or traditional way of using paper towel or in my case, rejected thesis paper nung college. And we can also use the setup na bioactive terrarium. Basically, pag-uusapan natin kung paano siya i-set up, ano yung mga kailangan nating materials and what are the advantage and disadvantages of using such setups. Right now, labas tayo ng bahay and kumuha tayo ng materials na gagamitin natin for the bioactive terrarium. Ito yung pinaka-importanting part ng bioactive terrarium. Sila yung mga tinatawag natin cleanup crew or isopods. To set up our leopard gecko enclosure, kailangan natin ng mga to. Meron tayo dito mga height box at paper tube. Basically kung saan magtatago yung mga alaga natin. Siyempre, kailangan din natin yung actual na paglalagyan ng leopard gecko. I'll be using 12 liter mega box. Kailangan din natin ng paper towels and mga food dish. Siyempre, hindi mawawala yung ating cleanup crew. Um, for our bioactive terrarium, meron ditong isopods and springtails.
Next, this is optional, but I'll be using cocoa chips. Gagamit din tayo ng cocoa pit, yung nilagay natin sa water kanina. And then, konting garden soil. Tapos, kailangan din natin ng pang spray kasi gagamit tayo ng dalawang uri ng water. Um, yung isa tap water and then yung isa yung water na galing sa fish pond or aquarium. Explain ko sa inyo mamaya kung bakit. So, start natin dun sa unang enclosure natin. Ang gagawin mo lang, mag ka lang ng around 1 to 2 pieces ng paper towel. Next step is mag-spray ka ng tap water using the spray bottle. Then, i-place mo na yung mga accessories such as the hide, the food dish, and the paper too. Next na yung setup natin is yung bioactive terrarium. So, get your 12 liter mega box and i-layer mo yung garden soil, manipis lang na layer, followed by the cocoa pit. So, after mong nilagay yung cocoa pit, pwede mo nang ilagay yung hide box, then start decorating. I'm using yung balat ng puno na pinakuluan binilad natin kanina. And then after that, iset mo na din yung food dish. Now, dun sa mga exposed part ng cocoa pit, you can try covering them up using the cocoa chips. So, pag nakalagay na yung decoration, you can add the cleanup crew. Tapos, pwede mo nang spray using yung aquarium water or fish pond water. You can also try adding plants uh, bioactive but for this one, I chose not to. Sa mga nagtatanong kung bakit dalawang setup yung ginagamit ko, this is because for my hatchlings up until they are 4 to 5 months old, ginagamit ko yung nasa right and then for my adults yung mga 6 months and above na age na leopard gecko ginagamit ko yung nasa left the reason why I'm using this for my hatchling is because during the hatchling period up until they are around 4 to 5 months ito yung time na kailangan natin i-monitor kung regular ba yung pag nila, okay ba silang kumain, regular or wala ba silang problema when it comes to shedding. So it is during this time na we want to ensure na yung health ng leopard gecko natin is na build natin and na ensure natin na lumalaki na develop siya as healthy as possible. Now, for my leopard geckos, ages 6 months and above, nilalagay ko na sila sa bioactive terrarium. This will only happen kapag na-insure ko na na walang problema sa pagkain nila, hindi delayed yung paglaki nila, and walang issue sa pag-shed nila. Siyempre, as a keeper, gusto ko aesthetically pleasing yung mga animal ko, but I also ensure na hindi nakakompromise yung health nila by doing so. Dito ko na din ipasok yung isyong impaction. Bioactive terrariums do not promote impaction. What promote impaction is poor husbandry. Perhaps nagtatanong kayo kung ito na ba yung setup? Wala na ba tayong gagamitin any heating devices? Yep, ito na po yun. We will not be using any heat lamp or heat pad for our leopard geckos. So, pakita ko yung ranges ng temperature natin dito sa Tarlac. It's around 24 to 32 degrees Celsius. Tapos, yung predicted temperature for today is around let me check, 26 degrees Celsius. That is because, guys, may bagyo pa today. Pakita ko sa inyo. So temperature-wise, very suited yung area namin. That's the reason why I'm not using heat pad or heat lamp. Kasi yung temperature needed or required for leopard geckos is around 26 to 31 
degrees Celsius. And usually here in Tarilac, yung temperature is around 28 to 30 degrees Celsius. Kung mapapansin nyo din, iba yung food dishes na ginagamit ko para sa mga young leopard gecko and iba din dun sa mga juvie or mga adult. Kasi sa mga young leopard gecko, required lang natin silang pakainin ng mga feeders na kasya sa mouth nila or kaya nilang i-consume. And usually, mga mealworms yun or mga batang superworms. And kasyang kasya yung mga mealworms and superworms dito. Aside from that, napaka-convenient niya kasi dun sa kabilang side, pwede mo ilagay yung calcium powder or calcium dust. And then dun sa parang may takip, nandun mismo yung actual na feeder. So for adult leopard geckos naman, since they require bigger feeders, ang ginagamit ko, deli cups. Kasi mas hindi sila makakatakas dito kumpara dun sa block na ginagamit natin para sa mga juvies natin. Para butasan to, kuha ka lang ng lata tapos initin mo yung parang bottom part niya and then ipatong mo lang para makuha yung ganyang type of ka-perfect na circle. So just to summarize everything, if you want to keep an eye dun sa mga leopard gecko mo, how are they doing when it comes to their feeding, yung pag-poop nila, pag-shed nila, then you can use the terrarium na ginagamit kong substrate is paper towel lang. If however, gusto mo ng enclosure na mas aesthetically pleasing, tapos you don't want to clean it every day or every single week, then you can choose the bioactive since you have the cleanup crew to do the job for you. So the question is no longer which enclosure is the best. Ang question ngayon is which enclosure works best for you. So hopefully this video helped you decide kung anong klaseng enclosure ang gagawin mo or si setup mo para sa leopard gecko mo. So this will be the end of the video. Please give us a like, leave a comment down below and subscribe. And let me give you a montage of my leopard geckos in their bioactive enclosures.